Okay guys, welcome back in the vault performance here. Coach Tyler looking at how you can improve uh, your separation in your swing. It's a pretty common uh, question that I get. Hey, I'm looking to improve my speed. I'm looking to improve my transition. Uh, what's a good way for me to, to know that I'm doing this correctly, okay? So with this one, lots of different ways to do it, obviously. There's some people where they won't be able to do quite as much as I do. Some people could do a lot more than me uh, when it comes to this stretch movement that I'm about to show you. So knowing what's right for you and knowing how you're going to get the most out of your game is still my ultimate goal here, right, guys? So I'm trying to help you. Um, it's easier to help you if I know you. If I don't know you, you, obviously take the videos, do your best with them. If you need any more guidance, make sure you check the description below, okay? So when we're looking at transition, so a good way to do it, so I have this, you could do a wall, you could do a door frame, uh, you could do your cart, uh, just something that you can push against. So I set up, for me, I like to, I, I have to have my back foot flared because my back hip is a little bit, like my internal rotation's okay, it's not incredible, so I flare my back foot, get my knees in a good spot, get my shoulders sort of over my feet, or inside my feet here, and then, uh, try to get into a neutral spine. So when I start my backswing, I'm trying to load up and get to a nice turn and get that nice tension into my back hip for me. And then I'm gonna get in a spot where I'm just far enough away. So I do my nice backswing move. Then I sort of reach towards uh, the wall or for me this uh, squat rack. So when I'm, I'm here, okay, so I've rotated back my arms are still relaxed. As I start to transition, I'm actually gonna be pushing into this as I start to feel like everything's gonna be moving away from it, okay? So I'm going this way, pushing, and I'm starting to also ex start to rotate or drive my right hip or trail hip into uh, rotation and get a bit more into my back right toe. So I'm pushing into this, and I'm trying to move a little bit laterally and then also with a little bit of rotation so it sort of looks like this and then I'm at that spot and then I just let my hands slide off and fire through so I sort of get to the point you can hear my voice change when I do it I get to the point so I start down there we go that's the load and then let it slide off okay so when I'm doing that I'm creating that sort of elastic stretch creating some nice tension getting the sort of movement going feeling it definitely through the core. If you do this and you feel it in your lower back, we're gonna have to adjust a little bit on how you're doing it. It might be, as you do it, maybe you're pushing and your back's going this way, that might activate your back. When I'm pushing, I'm keeping my body over the ball as I push and rotate and I get to here and then I let everything fire through. So use that one. Um, I, again, when you do it, like I'm going pretty aggressive, so I go good backswing, load it up all the way arms bent so as I'm driving laterally I'm also pushing into that pull that's creating a big stretch at the start maybe just do a little stretch and then move off of it and then as you get better you can go a bit more create a little bit more of that separation from upper to lower in that transition move helping you produce a little more elastic energy in your swing hope this helps you guys definitely if you need more guidance on this check the description below happy to help thanks for watching have a great day